Hey, Gamebox here. So, why am I staring at Sean Taylor's set? One of the things I've been preaching for quite some time now are look through sets, find profit opportunities. I don't know how many times I got to mention these 50 sets before they're not profitable, but it's amazing. Randy Moss was crazy this past week, profitable. People made millions off of that one. Sean Taylor, amazingly, still after everything, right? These things, these 85 fresh guys are going for about 20K, okay? And then when you look at his power-up costs, oh, God dang it, I didn't, I didn't uh, put that in properly. Uh, when you put in his power-up costs, Sean Taylor, about 475 whatever it is, on PlayStation. I'm doing PlayStation only. Xbox, your prices will be different, sorry. Uh, but definitely take a look at that. When that Sean Taylor's at 475 plus his 50 card, you got another 375 so, 20K or so times 32 equals 640K to do it. And himself, sorry, I'm going through other things I want to go through in the video. And you'll see in a second. 375 plus 475. I was told there wouldn't be math. But that's like at least 10 million coins that you can make. Or somewhere around there. So, definitely keep looking into sets, dudes. I don't want to go through these sets and tell you all the ones that are profitable. I'll show you this one and one other one in this video. I'll wrap up the video with the other set. You might have gotten teased because I hit the wrong uh, tab. But I want to start the video with a profitable set, and we'll end the video with one. In the middle, we got market moves, stuff to talk about, a lot of anticipation coming up. I mean, th these next few weeks, month, all the way through the Super Bowl, is going to be bonkers and mutt. So let's go ahead and talk about it. But first, let's talk about our sponsor. Oh, I, man, I really screwed up the uh, size of this thing, didn't I? God, that, that was horrible. Rock Bottom Coins! Let's take a look. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. All right, so we're back. If you like supporting me, support Rock Bottom Coins. Hashtag ad. There it is. This was a this was a little thing, and it was pointed out to me right. Oh, I got double mouse, double mouse. Do you see? Am I am I circling? Let's go, or the mouse in the upper right corner? I don't know. Am I? Let's do the upper right corner only though. Uh, pointed out to me, it was a, it was a little little teaser, and then there's like a little blitz on the bell, and this is the same spot that we saw a little bit of the presence. While people, you know, put in the title round two of presence, speculation, fun times, good times, all that jazz. Now, everyone's like, oh, we're getting a blitz? Now, we haven't gotten a blitz. Like, we got one blitz last year, but the servers died. This year, the servers held up really well in the blitz. So, I do anticipate more of them because EA proved to themselves, hey, we can do it. They held up all weekend, blitz weekend. So, good job. Do I expect a blitz when every single EA employee is, like, taken off? Not all of them. But, like, a lot of EA employees for the Mutt staff are taken off for the holidays. It's New Year's. Like, a lot of people are saying, hey, New Year's Day makes a lot of sense. Um, for this, you know, the blitz to happen, or, or no use Eve, sorry. Um, I don't know, man. It seems unlikely that they do it on a holiday for them, right? Like, they did it, I guess, over, like, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, but really, you know, Thanksgiving's just a one-day holiday, then you can kind of work the next day. Um, a lot of places are like that, whereas, like, they were kind of off for a couple weeks, so... Chances are 50-50. Either it happens or it doesn't. I don't know, but it'd be kind of cool to get another blitz. Those are always the best times in Mutt. I would love it. I'm here for it. I just say don't expect anything, uh, and you won't be disappointed. But we are getting new stuff um, Friday. I know packs expire Wednesday. Wait, this is Thursday. Mutt draft update. Let's go Let's go take a look at the uh, block, right? Let's go take a look at the, the packs. They're expiring in a, like a day and change. So tomorrow is Tuesday because this is Mark and Monday. And Wednesday, last we, we might get content Wednesday, we might get a new card, but the, all, all these packs are expiring then, right? We'll talk about all pro packs in a second. These packs are expiring on Wednesday. So Wednesday, but it looks like Thursday will be the content for New Year's Eve. And then we're getting the 50 on Friday, on the 1st. And then Legends, of course, on the 2nd Saturday. So it'll be interesting to see what we get Wednesday with the expiring packs. All they have here is Mutt Draft Update. I would, I would uh, not necessarily kill for a, a blitz, but I sure would take your mother out for dinner and then call her again for another blitz because, man, that's fun. So, who knows? I expect they told us most everything that's on their way, so expect that for Thursday. But anyways, let's move on. 
uh, low end of market did crash kind of hard because of these all pro packs getting refreshed today. A lot of people love pulling these all pro packs. Generally, there's some good stuff in them. I know a lot of people said, oh, they were bad for me. Didn't pull over uh, blank overall. Uh, we can just pull one here quick. We can kind of like zoom through it. All right, do we get anything? Uh, select, 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 select. Whoa, we got a 92 overall. That's hot. Set, that was a first round cheese one. Select, select, select. All right, YouTuber luck. I got an 85 and 81 and then some first round cheese and then 92. Pretty good. <laughs> I was about to say, everybody pull these all pro packs so the low end of the market crash and then I just go ahead and pull like a high card, uh, 92 overall. These ones, the high end of the market didn't get affected too much. Uh, these were kind of at these prices. We haven't quite hit blitz prices yet again. I would assume with the next series, which is going to happen sometime in January, Kralo said. Last year, the series changeover, you know, would have already happened. And then we, get, we got another one in February right after, the foot, after the Super Bowl. But this year, they said there's going to get one coming in January. Now, they always give us a week heads up. So we know it's not happening next week, Monday. If they say tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we can see it, right? Uh, right now, I suspect, like, if you had to, if you have to have me, if you told me, hey, pin down a date with your best guess, okay, Fox, do it, you coward. I would say the eighth. I think it's the eighth for the next series changeover, and that's what I'm gonna go with. So they'll tell us like maybe Friday, but they're not in the office on Friday, right? Maybe the eighth is too soon. I mean, all it takes is a uh, a tweet out saying something. Maybe someone will put the list list of the limited. So. Really, the market doesn't crash too much until the new series, right? If you have cards you want to sell, you can kind of sell them through the week because the pack odds don't increase the new series and the pack odds going down is what really drives the market down with the new series changeover. But who knows? That's speculation. We know the playoff promo is also coming that weekend since that's when the playoffs start. Um, so maybe they will delay the series changeover to like, you know, the week after that, maybe the 15th because the playoff promo is going to be that weekend. So we don't know, but... That's something to keep in the back of your head if you got any limited time cards that you don't want to really take a bath on. So, back to the game. Um, with that, oh, 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 right back here. I want to highlight these things. It does look like these things kind of lowered in price. Um, five, four. So that 81 re-roll, it looks a little shakier now than it's been before. Um, it looks it looks tough on the profitability unless you throw us a lot of 85s at an 81 plus roll. I know people have made millions off of it already through the winter promo you've heard me talk about it a bunch about how great that reroll has been it's looking a little shady at the moment uh but you know let me know what you guys it's just i think the low end of the market kind of crashed a little bit too much hard on too hard on those uh snow players so uh next i do suspect people have asked me this question a lot i like i like to use these market mondays to, to answer a lot of common questions on the market what overall will the 50 be 96 this is what we got that week 95s is what we got the week before the week before that was 94s so we were saying well are we getting 97s i think the answer is we're gonna get 96s right i think they want you know vic moss dion to be the highest overall cards we obviously just got legends of the same overall that are just bonkers too i do suspect they're gonna be 96 overalls i think the first 97s we'll see will be team of the year 98s maybe for the super bowl promo and then honors program will be the first 99 overall card Whatever it is, if you got that pack with the Super Bowl MVP collectible, that thing, there'll be a set for it right when the Super Bowl happens. So if you missed, if you don't want to get the bundle, you missed it, um, just wait. There'll be a set. I, I generally don't, unless you're going to spend money on it, I generally don't think you should uh, worry about the MVP set. Uh, it's generally not that great of a set. You know, this is traditionally. This year could be different. Uh, and just buy the card because the MVP card gets, gets you know, put in and it gets flooded. It's just like what happened with the presents, right? We can do a present checkup. How many times have I told you, hey, when these presents open, that's the only time they'll open. So you want to buy then. This bow was going for, and you guys heard me say this the other day, this bow was going for like 590 is where I snatched up my first bow. I snatched up my second bow around 800K when I circled back around to him. And now Bo Jackson's at 1.35 million. Now, if he gets Redux, that price gets cut in half. It is what it is. You know, that's fine. He's still the best running back in the game. Him and Kamara. I'd say Kamara if you want a receiving. Same thing happened with DeCastro. Well, not that one uh, because he's powered up. This DeCastro, he's at the 226. Got him around 120 at 118 is where I'm sniping at. So hopefully you guys are there either on Twitch with me sniping. Hopefully you guys listen to my advice about those presents because that was one of the best investments of the year that you could have made. Okay? That's why we dominate this game over and over, year over year. We just know this stuff. Okay? Um, so I do expect the 50 cards to be 96 overalls. My best guess at the 50 cards to come out this Friday 
will be Barry Sanders, Lawrence Taylor, Demonte Dawson, if they got us right. So now, there could be many different centers. Bills just scored. What's the score overall now? I know the Pats just scored on uh, the 16-9. Okay, nice play. Uh, I saw Taiwan drop a pass, but he's still number one. Uh, I, I, it could be Dickerson, Peyton, CJ2K, I guess. I don't know. It could be whenever. It depends on what center they got. Uh, rights for if Dawson signed. I hope Dawson signed. But um, that's kind of what we're looking at. It's quick coins for what you guys want to do before we get to that last set. Uh, definitely take a look at Legend Solos. Not, not just like the Legend Solos when they first come out are always good coins. People are lazy the morning the Legends come out. They just want to buy the power up and they want to get the card on their roster. People like me that kind of do that don't want to really... Uh, pay maybe for the for the limited they just want to get it and go also old legends are going for quite a bit let me show it to you on this filter actually this is probably a better way of showing off old um shoot do i not have it um yeah like power-ups i was looking i was looking through this so like these power-ups these legend power-ups let me show you some of these things they're going for like 10 12k um let me just circle through here as i take forever to load um, who's a good old legend power? Lawrence Taylor's going for 15k. A lot of people like myself think Lawrence Taylor's coming out. Lawrence Taylor, like just doing this solo, 15k, 15,000 to do a solo. And it's not like these solos are, are hard. I mean, they're full game solos, so they take a little bit. But these legend solos are really nice. Um, this is more like a beginner tip, but, uh, I, I actually don't remember where it was. Is Michael Vick's, Michael Vick and Deion, Deion Sanders are going for like 12 to 15k also. But these things... All you have to do with the Michael Vick power is one star. So if you have a bad team, just throw it on the, the easiest difficulty. Rookie difficulty, arcade. It's very easy to do with a low-end squad. And you get like 15k coins. So make sure you grind these level, these legend uh, solos uh, for players with good uh, power-ups. Of course, some of them are going for less, but there's a lot going. See, Vicks for 10k. Mean Joe Green's for 10k. Um, there's a lot of other solid ones. Bo Jackson's there, 12k. Uh, I don't know what their exact prices are. Now, these are Xbox prices, so PlayStation, I think they're slightly higher. They always seem to be. Tony Gonzalez, 9K. So pretty solid low end of the market. Get them. Of course, take a look at your uh, Mutt Master, your other ways, your missions. Never forget that. I got to always mention that before a series changeover. Uh, servers are taking a little bit. Uh, are all the bandwidth going to the, the game? You always want to take a look at uh, Mutt Master stuff. I haven't completed it. I got to do the sacks, I guess, to get to my Mutt Master coins. 125,000 coins just by doing these Mutt Master stuff, team tackles, and sacks with Sam Mills. So I can get my 125k for that. With that, the last set I wanted to show you guys too. Um, uh, yeah, and there's 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 other ones. I don't want to show them all off, man. All right, I don't want to show them all off. Okay, when we look through the auction house, and, and I think this is one of the best years for sets. This is probably one like, if not the best Madden year ever, the best Madden year in a long time for how profitable sets are. To do and make coins. Obviously, you can go back to Mutt 13, where they used to sell out, where they used to give out a lot of uh, coins for doing sets. We've had other, you know, sets in the past that have been really good, like Glitchy. Uh, but like, look at this. Pat Watkins didn't even have to filter down much. 2100. Okay, so if you get a Pat Watkins for 2100, all right, or you just filter by position. Ah, uh, 29 is not great. But you just filter by position. Go through here. Snipe a bunch of these things between two and 3k. All right, this one's over 3k. Uh, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, maybe it's best to sort it by offense. Yeah, it looks like there's not a whole lot on the on the market right now. It's it, it's better to do when packs are being opened, especially in the morning, like those all pro packs. Uh, but yeah, 2.2, 2.3, snatch all those up. You do the campus heroes for what? Two to three k times thirty two. So we'll just say two times thirty two, sixty four k, and then you can buy and sell them for damn near a hundred k. Sixty four, seventy, seventy five k. You could probably do those sets for. Get them, sell them for 99, 97, 92, 90, 88. There's a lot of these campus heroes that go for profit. You can select out of the set which one you want to sell. So campus heroes, also profitable set, um, at least if you can find them under 3K. Because at 3K, it's about break even. Uh, but you definitely want to find them closer to 2K than 3K. And look at these things. I've just been on it. These things haven't even been bought. So definitely look through the block for that's another set. So, and there's more out there, right? I've talked about more. I've talked about standouts before. Team Affinity ones are great for looking at. And the, the ones that have power-ups. Uh, Team of the Week sets, we've seen profitable ones too. So I'm not going to give them you know, all away because that, that ruins the whole hunt and ruins a lot of the methods. Uh, but I, I do want you guys consistently looking at sets for coins. And that's really, really how a lot of people are funding their teams and making a ton of coins off of them. So there it is for Market Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed 
Um, if you uh, like the video, I gotta start saying this. I'm doing horrible for for growth, for subs, followers on Twitch. I gotta start saying I, I gotta sell out. Follow, hit the hit the subscribe button, please. Do it. I need it. It sucks. I need you to follow. For one coward to another, hit the button. Hit the upvote. Do it. That's my call to action today. Until we meet again.